Morning world, it's the Monday morning, it's about 9am, It's I think it's the 3rd of June and before I start, I don't normally talk about this too much because I get so much derision from it but as many of you know I've been well into the crop circle phenomena for decades, this is my um, 31st year of growing in crop circles and in the last 36 hours, I've been really thinking that something special is happening out there. And sure enough, around 10 o'clock last night, the news came through of an absolutely amazing crop circle right next to the church of Notre Dame, about 20 miles north of Paris, right next to a Catholic church called the, the Notre Dame Church, Catholic Church. And in the field next to the church, is a large crucifix of trees, about 30, 40 trees long, 20 trees wide, old trees that were planted there many, many years ago. And uh, there's an incredible crop circle in the next field to it. So Google Notre Dame Crop Circle France 2019, you'll find it. The, 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 the ratios and the geometry of it are absolutely pristine. Anyway, enough on crop circles. Venus Pluto aspects. I'm looking first of all at the sextile and trine in this video and then the square. And the difference between a sextile and a trine, they're both harmonious aspects. They both deal with the positive side of bringing two planets together. The difference is, is that a trine links two planets that are in the same element, water to water, fire to fire, earth to earth, etc. So it's harmonious, it's easy, it creates a general flow and talent. A sextile links two planets in similar and similar elements, but not the same. So fire to air or earth to water, same gender. And this makes you work a bit harder. So the sextile is much more proactive. It's initiatory, whereas the trine is um, perhaps more lazy. So with Venus trine Pluto, it gives a kind of magnetic personality the the receptiveness the passion the love of venus works with the psychological depth of pluto in a way that creates a a very magnetic energy to these people it's as if they um will meet people and know them instantly as if they've known them all their life They're, this is not about waiting for mr or mrs right in a relationship pattern but it is about it does give the ability to recognize when an interaction whether it be a long-term one or a short brief one, has that kind of fated quality about it that brings that degree of magnetism and synchronicity that makes you feel like, yes, this is right. Certainly, there's going to be an easier capacity to attract people with a similar belief system or philosophy towards oneself and with an, a similar degree of depth in terms of dealing with issues. With Venus, Trine, Pluto, um, it does give a respect, mutual respect for each other's privacy and degree of autonomy within the confines of a relationship. And of course, the best relationships are always based on autonomy, freedom within the confines of a committed relationship. These people don't scatter their energies too loosely. They, um, they, they, they constantly try and transmute using the Pluto capacity for transformation with Venus, this is energy for love, they try and transmute the more basic, baser lust influence of love into a cleaner and purified feeling of the highest quality, constantly aspiring to a more sophisticated and refined type of love. I love the Venus trine Pluto people. It's It gives an easy energy. It's a very romantic nature and it gives an, a, a basic fundamental faith in the qualities of love. These people will tell the truth and they would expect to be told the truth as well. Um, whereas the sextile between Venus and Pluto is a bit different. These people have a more user-friendly psychological insight into what makes relationships and other people in relationships tick. Um, and they don't really understand where it comes from. Half the time they're going, how did I work that one out? But their, their ability to sort of be able to penetrate under the surface of what's going on, either in themselves or in other people, is actually really good. It really enhances their own intrinsic creativity. Now, Venus sextile Pluto people may seem a bit lightweight on the surface, but just underneath the surface, there's an iron will that says, don't mess with me. Deal with me honestly and transparently, and I'll reward you with a capacity of 
deep-rooted affection, love and passion that you'll never want to go elsewhere. But mess with me or lie with me or try and disempower me once and that's it, you're toast. Um, this does bring a blend of the psychological depths of Pluto with the social skills of Venus in a way that gives a very shrewd and precise way of dealing with the world. They want to see the best of everyone. And whilst uh, um, they're very easily attracted by the promise of depth or quality or good sex, but at the same time they're easily turned off by the superficiality and lack of depth. And they've got this compassion, this, this ability for passionate and deep love, which some people will find really attractive and others may find a little bit threatening. So when they choose to be involved in relationships, it's going to be a vehicle for their and the other person's transformation. Otherwise, what's the point of being in relationships? There's, there's, there's the capacity for intimacy with Venus sextile Pluto is great as long as there is a quid pro quo. And as long as they're both prepared to expect the res accept the responsibilities of love as well as the joys of love, there'll be a healthy result at the end of the day. But then you get the square of Venus to Pluto. Now, whereas Mars square Pluto can be quite, hmm, let's be polite and say projective and assertive and sometimes confrontational and aggressive, and it can attract a challenging physical energy either towards oneself or from oneself. Venus is different but similar, as in it's more the receptive rather than the projective. And there's a thin line between love and hate sometimes. And Venus square Pluto people will know this. They'll know the potentials for the extremes of behaviour and sexual intensity can lead to both challenging involvements, especially in younger years, but also a great deal of passion. Um, I have real trouble in letting go and sometimes it's almost a little bit masochistic because they feel that love needs to be painful in order for them to learn their lessons again when young. It is only sometimes when, when young it's almost as if with Venus square Pluto there's this need for rejection because that's the only way in which you can truly experience emotional torment which is necessary so that in later years you can then experience the quality that you aspire to. And love and power can be easily confused with Venus square Pluto. It's a, it's a really difficult aspect. Um, marriage with these people when young can often be not so much based out of unconditional love as more as a need for financial or emotional stability or security. Um, but marriage for anything but love, it ends up being a prison inevitably um, these people will try and control their feelings and they can try and control other people's feelings the worst people with venus square pluto can be quite emotionally manipulative as in well if you love me or you should anything that begins with you should gone these relationships can bring out the demons and the darker stuff um quote Here's a quote from a client, okay? Bear with me a second. One, one client stated, I relate Venus, my Venus Pluto square to the end of my marriage. I was surprised at the amount of hurt and unkind behavior I was prepared to endure in order to stay in the relationship. I think my ex became the same. As they stated later, they had started to enjoy becoming manipulative and secretive. I think they eventually realised that my masochistic tendencies were not helping the situation and following lots of self-justification and blame, they became comfortable with being the baddie and also making the eventual break. Classic Venus square Pluto. Very, very difficult to bring things to the surface and be absolutely clear about what's going on. However, as they get older, post 37. Venus square Pluto people realise that patronising people is a poor substitute for being honest with them. So um, yes, there's going to be the problems of Venus square Pluto. Many of these relating to sensual as well as sexual issues. But at the end of the day, 
these people, the clearer they are with themselves about their issues and the clearer they are with their partners about their issues, the better they quali the better the quality of the interaction. And they learn to differentiate between needs, wants and desires. And treating other people in their relationship life the way they would like to be treated by them is a good start to managing this aspect. People with Venus square Pluto can easily go down into the sign of Hadean can of worms, or they can aspire to the Phoenix like cleanest form of pure love imaginable. Uh, but the latter only occurs after the former has been experienced to its fullest. So the lesson of Venus square Pluto, don't sell your soul for comfort. Okay. I'll do Venus conjunct Pluto and Venus opposite Pluto tomorrow. Hope this was helpful. Catch you later, world. Bye.